welcome, welcome back to my channel. Oh, itching, I'm gonna do a get ready with me. I don't do that many get ready with me, get ready with me's. Is that how you say it? Probably not. Never mind, let's let's move it forward, people. But I have a lot of new things I wanna try. I have some things that are not new that I'm, I'm, I'm using a lot and maybe I'll show you how I use them. And you always ask me like, what is my base like foundation routine? And this is what I've been doing lately a lot, uh, simply because I want to get through these two foundations and partly because I feel like they look good on my skin. And also I want to try some of the things that I got from Georgia. If you have not seen the makeup exchange that me and Georgia Harris did, I will leave both of our videos down below so you can check that out. I am going to do something more neutral today because I am using the Lorac Unsipped Sunset. That is a, I've only, I've only swatched this, I haven't worn it. It looks like this. The plastic is still on. So I have swatched it, but I haven't worn it. So we're doing something with that. Uh, and yeah, I'm trying to get myself to be more into neutrals because I feel like the people who love neutrals, they will have even like people who love neutrals and colors. They have the most to choose from and I want to be that person. This is the All Star Matte and Blur Primer by Colourpop. I will list all the things that I use down below. Uh, I'm not gonna like talk too much about all the items while I use them. Makes no sense. Uh, I thought it was so funny to do like a makeup exchange with Georgia Harris because she loves indie brands just as much as I do and I just... I'm just so in love with indie brands. It was so much fun to show someone more in the brands that I knew that she hadn't tried and I'm hoping she's having a lot of fun with the things that I sent her. I also, what, this is almost out. So little left and I'm so excited about that. <laughs> it is the Estee Lauder double wear and I'm trying to get rid of it and this is the Born This Way by Too Faced. I'm trying to get rid of that one as well. Not that I dislike any of these two foundations, I've just had them for forever. But I also sent Georgia some like snacks to try, some Swedish candy. I I love Swedish candy. I mean, I really do. I've been in so many countries and I really love Swedish candy. Uh, that's the one thing I miss because I love candy. I can't stop eating candy. Uh, there is a very fat kid living inside of me just craving sugar 24 seven. But I sent her some black licorice. I also sent her some chocolate because I felt like she needed to try chocolate because every time I'm in US, I'm always amazed by how bad the chocolate in US is. I'm so sorry. Uh, but I think it's more like a I'm used to sweetie chocolate and therefore I think that that is the best. But it was really funny because she tried the licorice, which I sent her salty licorice. I did not send her the sweet licorice. Uh, the one licorice that people find outside of like Scandinavia. I know that it, I had some comments of people in other countries also having licorice. I thought it was like a Nordic countries thing. I know Iceland has licorice as well, like salty licorice, but apparently it's in even more countries now and I think that that's amazing because it is like the best candy in the world. Uh, Georgia did not agree. <laughs> She was like, oh my god, I, it was so funny, you have to look at her like taste test. And after that she said in a get ready with me that she was gonna send me uh, another package with some of the worst candies in the US for me to try. I have tried, I always try candy in other parts of the world when I'm traveling because I feel like that says a lot about like Candy is things that is mainly meant to be delicious. There is no other, like, value to candy but to be delicious. So, tasting candy, for me, really says a lot about what this country and this culture thinks is delicious. And lately I've been using a bit of foundation under my eyes as well, before concealer, just to add a first layer of just... I don't know, color correcting. It has been working out really good for me. But I just love tasting different kinds of candies and I've been to a lot of countries. I've actually been traveling quite a lot and it's... People ask me like, how do you afford to travel so much? Um, and it's easy. I never go out to eat. We rarely go to the movies. We never go out for drinks. We don't have any expensive hobbies at all, except 
makeup but i'll be honest with you and i would love if other youtubers were this honest but nowadays i do make a little money out of youtube and the money that i make of youtube does cover the makeup that i buy that's the honest truth the makeup that i buy is covered by adsense money which is amazing and i'm so happy about that because that enables me to buy new releases when they launch even though i've already bought a lot of makeup that month just because i want to show it to you before i made money on youtube i would be have to be i'm using the word smart here but i had to be smarter with my purchases i could not just buy everything every month but now if if a lot of ex exciting things are being released in the month i can buy it because the adsense will cover it uh, which is an amazing thing i really think that like don't ever think that I don't think that that is such an amazing thing. The thing is that the money I make of my salary... Oh, I've been using this Laritzi Cosmetics uh, Bronze Aloha stick. I've been using that as a, a cream contour. And, like, if you would have told me, like, three months ago that, Angie, you're going to be into cream contouring again, um, I would say there's there's no way that that's happening because that's annoying. But, yeah... Little did I know that I was gonna love this stick that I actually got in a glossy box. Um, but like the money that I get from my salary, I don't really do anything with that, uh, except that I save it for traveling. Uh, although, uh, and I mean, I have a full-time job. Like I have a full-time job, I work in an office environment. I have a degree in environmental science and I work with something um, regarding that, so to speak. So, so I mean, I, do you see how good this blends? So I do like get a normal salary and all the money that comes from my salary once i've paid my bills i do have a lot of money according to me I, I feel like i have a lot of money left and we like to travel so we've been to oh, i just love how this looks we've been to paris this year we've been to new york we've been to greece we've been to japan um we were we decided like christmas last year because we were thinking about going somewhere for christmas last year we were like screw Christmas, like, we cannot handle this. I mean, his mom and his dad aren't married anymore, and my mom and my dad, well, my my dad um, has passed. My dad died of um, um, lung cancer. Don't smoke, kids. That is, like, a really bad way to go. Uh, but my mom is married to a new man, and it just meant that we had three places, three places to visit. Uh, and it was just a very hectic Christmas and we were thinking when we were planning it, we were like Maybe we shouldn't do this. Maybe we should go somewhere and then we were just like, no, you know what? We'll, we'll just endure this Christmas because uh, I love Christmas. Like Christmas is my favorite holiday. I go crazy around Christmas. I just I love the baking and the cooking and making candies and getting gifts. Although I'm mostly like Grinch. I'm like, you know who'd like this? I like this. Uh, <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not that good at getting gifts. Uh, at, for, uh, for others at, at times. I, I just tend to get a lot of gifts for myself. How does this look? I think I went a little far here. But instead we were like, okay, so we won't go anywhere this Christmas. Instead, we'll just um, we'll just go somewhere next year. And we were like, you know what? There's nothing stopping us from making 2018 the year of traveling. So we just said to each other, okay, 2018 is the year of traveling. And I've been saying that as like a almost like a joke to my like friends and co-workers like yeah 2018 it's the year of traveling but it really has been because we've been abroad so many times and i've been to bath as well uh, with daisy beauty um was that like a an influencer trip no it wasn't really it's was like a beauty conference but it was really funny but and i don't think that next year is gonna be <laughs> it's not gonna be like this uh, so that's why we were like, okay, let's go as much as possible because now, now we have two pets and just having someone take care of your pets when you're going away because we did do that for Japan. First of all, you miss your pets a lot. And second of all, it's not that easy finding people who will take care of your pets for several times a year. Not that easy, let me tell you. So we're not, we're not going to do that next year. We're going to be... I mean, I'm not going to say, like, we're going to be home all next year. We're probably going to go for summer vacations because you never know what's summer in Sweden. Sometimes summer... Oh, God, that was too much. Sometimes summer in Sweden can be so good. Uh, and sometimes it can be so bad. Wait, there's a hair here. Uh, you never know. This summer was, like, so hot in Sweden, but it's, like, the hottest 
it's been in like, I don't know what they said, like a hundred years or something. Uh, so I really don't think that that is like representative of what you're, what you can uh, expect of a Swedish summer. <laughs> Listen, normally we, normally we don't have that. Let me blend this out. So we're probably gonna go somewhere for next summer. I'm sh I'm sure we're gonna do that because we, we have been doing that for as long as we've been together, and both times now we've been going to Greece. Because uh, I hadn't been to Greece before, and I still have places in Greece that I want to go. But at the same time, I would love to go back to Italy because, um, well, he's half Italian, and there's a lot of Italy that I haven't seen either. <laughs> Obviously, Italy's big. We've only been there twice. We've been to Florence, and we've been to Rome. Um, both of them being absolutely amazing, obviously, but there's still places I want to go. I like, I want to go to Venice so bad. I want to go to the Amalfi Coast. Like, I want to go to, like, those islands, like Capri and Ischia, and there are so many places I want to go. I want to go to Sicily so bad. So maybe we're doing Italy next year. Like, instead of Greece, although there are still places I want to go in Greece, but yeah, you can't go everywhere. You have to pick pick, pick your battles. <laughs> pick your battles. Speaking of like candy in different parts of the world, I have to say that I really, really, really enjoyed um, the candy in, in, in Japan. It was like, they were doing, I mean, obviously, <laughs> okay, I'm not talking about like the dried squid in bags like that that I didn't go for that but they had a lot of like fruit taffy stuffs and I love like chewy fruit things that is so yummy we don't have that much of that here in Sweden uh, that's not really the candy that Swedes go for I don't really know why we have a lot of chocolate and stuff like that but I really like I like licorice and I like chocolate, but I really like the super like fruity things as well. I think that's amazing. I'm gonna see if I can get rid of some of these things. So I don't have like everything out all at once. <sighs> okay, that's gonna make it easier. I am gonna I'm gonna do a bit of eyebrows. I did try the eyebrow pomade in Dope Taupe from Colourpop the first time yesterday. You can see I've used it a bit. And I actually did think it was nice, but I'm not sure if I think that the pomade is better than like... Uh, what can I say? Like using a powder or a pencil. I know I said in another video that I've been using powders lately and I thought it was so hard. But I've been doing a 180 after that little thing because I actually think now the powders might be my favorite way of application but the powder that I'm using is so old that I think I need to buy a new one. So I'm looking into buying a new powder and getting rid of the one I have because yeah it's too old. I really really need the new one. You know what let me just do this. Because I need to get closer to the camera so that I can see something. Why am I getting brow pomade everywhere? Like, this this is why. Uh, I'll be back in a second. I'll also put on some eye primer. I'll brush this powder away and be right back. Oh my god, I'm really trying with these pomades, but I don't like my brows today. I think they're too sharp. I'm having such a problem with pomades. I feel like this brow looks like a bad brow stencil from eBay. I'm so sad about it and I don't know what to do, but... That's life right now. I'm gonna put some blush and highlighter on as well, and then I'm gonna go into the eyeshadows. I don't even remember what we talked about before. Traveling, right? I have I got this from uh, Georgia as well. This is the baked blush from Wet n Wild. It's their the one with the hummingbird. Apparently, it's not called Colibri. It's called hummingbird, but in Sweden, it's called uh, Colibri. This is in. This is in. This is in. Wait, hummingbird hype. I should have seen that at the beginning. Uh, I actually used this as a blush in another video and I was like, ooh, this gives like a glowy... This has... It's like a neutral, almost nectar type and it gives a bunch of glow and I'm so about that. 
So, talking about uh, traveling. So, I said that I want to go to more places in Italy. I have like a bit of a bucket list of like places I want to go. Do you have that? Like a travel bucket list? Because I definitely, definitely have that. I want to go to more places in Italy. Venice is on the top of my list. Although my boyfriend says that Venice is slightly overrated. But I don't care. I want to go there anyways. Like, I'm like, you don't get to decide what's overrated. I want to see it myself. So I want to go there. But he said a week is just too much. You, so I want to go like a weekend or something. This is the Super Shock Chic in fire. I have the, you see the dip in this? Oh, I've been using this so much. This is my new favorite highlighter. It's a peachy gold and I never thought I'd love a peachy gold as much as I love this one. It's, it's, um, it, it's amazing. I, I, I love this one with, with a passion. Like, if I wasn't getting married to my boy. Oh my god, I just hit pan! Ah! Oh my god, you see the tiny pan? Do you see that? Ah! I hit pan! Oh my god, L, are you proud of me? Are you proud of me, L? I feel like I accomplished something. That's how much I've been using this. I'm obsessed. It's 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 literally amazing. I should have bought another one now that I ordered from Colourpop because obviously I made an order. It's like my monthly Colourpop order. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, a bucket list, travel bucket lists. So yeah, definitely places in Italy. There are so many places in Italy I want to see. I like like places in Italy that I've seen that I want to go back to. Like I want to go back to Rome and my mom wants to go to Rome as well so that could be an excuse like to go there with her and uh, an excuse for me to go back. I like traveling with my mom. Do you ever do that? Like travel with your mom or your dad? I never traveled with my dad um, for like obvious reasons. If you want like a like, get ready with me more personally, like, about my family and stuff. I could totally do that. I never, like, really thought about doing something like that, but I totally could. I'm gonna start with my uh, lip, because I want to wear this gloss and I want to put it on now. This is the Zodiac Gloss in... Which is this? This is Leo. It's from Wet n Wild. I also got that from Georgia. Let me, let me just put that one on. Arr! And then we can talk about other things that's on my bucket list. It is, like, borderline a cardinal sin. How much I overlined my lips today. No shame in my overlining, <laughs> overlining game. So now we're gonna go into the Desert Sunset. I have only swatched this, like I said, and I think I'm gonna use... This one is like a satin, but I think I'm gonna use a bit of that in my crease as well. You can do that, but I think I'm just gonna start with this one that's called Dunes and see how pigmented that is at all. Like, so... What is on your like travel travel wish, wish lists, like your bucket lists? Another one for me that's on my bucket list is New Orleans. Uh, if you were to ask me like, okay, wait, let me zoom this in a bit. Oh, well, that's not it. If you were to ask me like why, I, I honestly don't know if I'd be able to like answer that. Is this weird? Maybe like that. Because I honestly don't know if I could tell you like why. I think I've seen too many good movies that's been set in New Orleans or like scenes from movies. It all looks so amazing and I just want to go. Like I want to see the architecture. I like the nature that's around those parts. I really love Evergreen, Ever, ever something, you know, in Florida. I really love that and I'm just thinking that the South is going to be even more. I, I don't, I have no, I got nothing. I got nothing. I also want to go back to uh, Los Angeles. I've been there once, but I was there for three months, so I've really seen a lot. I've also been to Las Vegas and I've been to Palm Springs. I wouldn't mind going back to Vegas as well, although I don't see myself like going out of my way to like, like book a trip there or go there. I mean, it's fine. I like it, but I, I don't, I, it's not really on the list of places I want to go back to. I also want to see more of Asia. Dog is up. The, the, like, the kids have been sleeping, but apparently he woke up now. Uh, I want to see Bali because I know a lot of, like, I have a lot of, like, acquaintances that love traveling. And I have two people that love traveling, they've been traveling all over the world. 
And once they got to Bali, they never traveled anywhere else again. They always go back to Bali and it makes me think like, has to be something about Bali. So I want to go there and see like, okay, what's the fuss about? Because I feel like if you get to see the whole world and then choose to only go back to Bali, it has to be something special, right? Is that just me? I just feel like that, that, that's it. Like, right? No? Yes? Yeah, I, I feel like that's probably it. So I really want to go there and see like what, what's all the fuss about. Uh, but I don't see myself going there. Like that is not a trip I'm like planning. Uh, somewhere I do want to go is like I said Italy. That That's probably going to be like my next next trip. There's also a bunch of cities in Europe I want to see and I want to see again. I would love to see Istanbul but... I don't really like where Turkey as a country is going, so it's like on a hold. It's the same with Dubai. I, I don't really agree with a lot of the laws and the view on women, so that kind of prohibits me from going there. Uh, just like my morals are higher than my, my lust for seeing uh, the city basically. Uh, I've never been to Germany. Uh, I want to go to Germany. I want to, like, my boyfriend wants to go to Berlin. Um, I just, I feel like I'm missing out. There has to be some really nice places in Germany to see, right? Am I missing out? I feel like I'm missing out. I'm sure there are things there that I would really appreciate seeing. Just don't really know exactly what. So, yeah, Germany is definitely on the list of places I I I kind of I kind of want to go there. Don't really know like how or when or stuff like that, but at some point I'm definitely going there. I want to go back to London as well. Like I would like to go to London like a shopping weekend or something, but I don't really have anyone to go with. Cuz my boyfriend, I mean, my boyfriend is so nice like my fiance. Let's be honest. I I I you're going to hear boyfriend. That's just how it is. He's so nice. He's so patient with me when we go shopping. He always comes with me and he like never complains when we go walk like shopping. We can go shopping for a whole day and he'll follow me into the stores and he'll come with me and I I ask him like what do you think of these things and he'll always answer just buy it. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a cry for help like just get me out of here but he's like yeah just buy it. There is like maybe one out of 20 times where he'll say like, mm, that isn't really like, I don't, I don't really like that. But most of the times it's just, just buy it. <laughs> don't really know how to like react to that. But he's just so patient with me. He always goes shopping with me if I want to. He's, he's literally my best friend and I'll always go with him when he wants to go look at that electronic stuff or sports stuff or computer stuff and he's like i want to get this one it just points at, a, at a, like a flat package with a bunch of numbers on it and i'm like okay so what is it he's like blah 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 blah, blah for the computer and i'm like okay so why is this better than what you have and he says something and i just look at him like I don't know, he's speaking Greek and he's just, it's just better. I'm like, oh, okay, hmm. <laughs> I can relate to that. Um, but I want to go to London and I want to go shopping, but I don't want to take like R, like Ricardo shopping, if it's like the only thing I want to do on the trip. Because I don't think he'll appreciate like the goal of the, <laughs> the trip, let's be honest. What do I want to put on my lid? Do I want to have... Oh, this has a lot of green on it. Like, like, I'm going to get rid of that because that's not what we're going for today. I think I'm going to take... Do I want to have purple or do I... I think I'm going to keep it this rosy red. This seems a bit crumbly. Ugh, ugh, so I'm going to spray it a bit. Usually when shimmers are a bit crumbly in the pan, they look really good when you spray them. Oh, that is pretty. Okay, I'm not mad about that. It's not like super metallic. It's just more of a, a sheen. Which I 
totally like get that a lot of people appreciate. I personally prefer something that's more like foiled, but that's just definitely just why, why is there a hair here? <laughs> this is definitely a personal preference. Taking a bit of the taupey pink as well. Let's see if we can get it to be a bit lighter in here. Maybe I'll just smoke up my little lash line with that satiny berry shade as well. Another place I want to go that's actually more of like my boyfriend's bucket list. My fiance's bucket list, like somebody, somebody. This shadow doesn't really want to stick to my under eyes because I powdered my under eyes. But he wants to go to Vietnam. That's like on his bucket list of places he wants to go. And I could totally see myself going there as well. It seems absolutely beautiful. And yeah, I could I could definitely see myself uh, going to Vietnam. Like I said, I want to see more places in Asia because I have seen a lot of other places and Asia has just been like I haven't I haven't seen anything in Asia. Japan is literally the first place I see in Asia unless you count Turkey, which I don't. It it doesn't count. I've been to Turkey a couple of times, but that doesn't count and I'm not planning to go back to Turkey again, like I said, because that country has like, yeah, I don't know what they're doing. They're, they're having issues. Let's just put it like that. And so I, I'm definitely like, I like to see more places in Asia, but it's not that easy like going. You can't just, I want to go to Asia and then you go. It takes a lot more planning when you go somewhere like more close by, which to me, Europe is, it takes not as much planning, let's be honest. And that's why I always, like, when I go to vacations, I'm like, okay, so do I want to make it simple and just stay in Europe? Or do I want to, like, how much hassle do I want to go through, basically? And I bet you are the same if you're another country or another part of the world. You're like, okay, so how much of a hassle do I want to make this? Like, do I want to... Do I want to stay in, in the region I'm in or do I want to make a hassle out of it? And I'm guessing that's the reason why a lot of Americans like or people from US hasn't been outside of US because US does have pretty much everything. So it's, it makes it easier. Let's see if I can get my, oh, I put my pencil somewhere. Oh, boo. Okay, I'll get that soon. I'm going to use an eyeliner. This is the Wet n Wild Liquid Eyeliner in Electric Purple. Also got this from Georgia. Let's try this one. Mm. How do you open this one? Ah, stop it. Mm. Okay, 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 there we go. Okay, let's see how this works. I, I have been to South, um, South America. I've been there a couple of times, but every time I've been there, I have been to visit my ex-boyfriend because he lives in um, Argentina. And so I've been to Argentina like three times, I think. Three times. Okay, so this is what it looks like with just one layer. I think I'm going to put one more. I don't know why I made it so long and sharp. Like, who am I trying to be here? Yeah, that's gonna have to do. I'm gonna put one more layer. I'm gonna put it on the other eye as well. I'll do some mascara and probably some lashes as well. And I'm gonna go find the eye pen I'm gonna use. And I'll be right back and we can chat. Oh yeah, about Argentina because I've been there three times. Okay, so I put some lashes on, but I actually dug up the eye pencil and I thought we could apply it together. This is the Etude House Play 101 pencil in, I think I have 19. It's like a fuchsia, fuchsia purple. It's super beautiful and it's what I'm gonna have in my waterline because Every time I do somewhat neutral eyes, I cannot help myself to just bring the color with either liners or highlighters or lips or, or whatever. But yeah, I used to have an ex-boyfriend that was from, I used, I used to have a boyfriend, now an ex-boyfriend, that's from Argentina. So I've been there three times, actually twice to visit him and once before I met him because I was uh, in a TV show, a game show called Wipeout. Have you heard about that? A long time ago. I I was actually in that show. Uh, I actually was in the finale. I lost by like a couple of seconds. I was doing good. 
mainly because I'm fearless. So I've been to Argentina three times um, and I don't really have an opinion about the country. I haven't seen that much. I've only seen like Buenos Aires, let's be honest here. Uh, and I'm so bad at languages. You might think like, let me see if I can zoom this out. You might think that because I speak English here on this channel that I'm like so good at languages and I know all of the languages and I am just a natural, but I'm not. I've been, I've been learning English since I was in first grade. Because uh, you do that in Sweden, even earlier nowadays, I think. And for me, this has been like a life project. And because of that, I'm pretty good at English and also I've been like, I've been talking a lot of English, like speaking, like, see, th this is where I fail. This is where I fail. I've been, I've been actually communicating a lot in English with friends that are from abroad. I've been playing computer games. I had a boyfriend abroad. He actually was really good in English, at English. I'm just giving myself away here. Um, but his original language, of course, was, um, Spanish. And I don't know any Spanish. I can order a beer. Una, un cerveza, por favor. That's it. That that's the Spanish I got. Although, let's be honest, I could, I could go far with that. I mean, I've been reading French for five years, and I, you leave me in France, and I'll die of scurvy because I cannot even decipher a menu. Like I'm lost. And but he was he was always talking to his mom on the phone because he moved here to Sweden. He lived here for a while while we were together and he was talking to his mom on the phone this is how bad I am at Spanish and they were talking to each other and then he got quiet for a while so I'm guessing she was talking because I was sitting like next to him and all of a sudden he says ocho and I said bless you because <laughs> I thought he sneezed apparently ocho is eight in Spanish he looked at me like I was an alien I was trying to be nice I said bless you and he didn't sneeze <laughs> That shows how bad I am at languages and I think that was everything. The look is done. If you're wondering about any of the products that I use today, I'm having them down in the description box. Sorry if this video is a year and a half. Apparently that's what I'm doing nowadays. I'm, I'm, I'm trying here, people. I'm really trying. I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna film another video after this. I'm gonna talk about some current beauty favorites because I have some. This one being one of them. I mean, I, I hit pan. I rarely hit pan on things like let's be honest because I have so much makeup uh, and yeah that was everything thank you for being here don't forget to subscribe I do upload at least five videos a week and I would love to see you in my next one bye